So this is for Math 3A. Math 3A. This is Calculus 1. Um, my name is Mohammed. I welcome you to this class. And I know it's, uh, it's not in person. We love to have it in person rather than online like this. The interaction is different. I get to know my students better when it's in person. And um, that's why it's, it, this is something out of our control. Like we can't do anything about it at this time. So today is an introduction date. So we're gonna go over uh, all the rules, all the stuff we have. I want you to know about this class. And if you have any questions, anything you are not clear about, you are welcome to ask. And let's see how far we can go with this today. Uh, you can use the chat box to ask questions and then I will answer them accordingly. Um, if um, so if you don't see an answer from me within like three, four minutes, you can ask it again and then I'll go over it. Um, this class is meant to be a continuation of pre-calc. Whatever you learned in pre-calc was very important for this class. If you took pre-calc a long time ago, it's okay. That's what I'm going to do is uh, for the first two, three classes, I'll be reviewing uh, the pre-calculus material, like the curriculum. And then we'll take it from there. Um, the first thing I want you to know is that some professors, they teach live online, like as we're doing now. And some of them, they record videos as I'm going to be doing. And then um, the way this is going to run, I would record videos, upload them to YouTube, and then you're going to watch them. And the way this is going to work is uh, the class meets Monday, Wednesday. So on the Monday, we can meet again like today as we're doing. And then I'll go over any concept you need me to explain, any questions you have about homework or non-homework questions, I'll go over them. And then if we have more time, I can lecture stuff for you. Um, on Wednesday, we're not gonna meet, but I will be using that time to record the videos and upload them on YouTube. So you can watch the videos at any time. I would highly recommend you watch the videos before we meet on Monday. So if you have any questions, you can ask. And on the top of this, we're gonna have um, what we call it um, office hours. We're gonna have office hours. Okay, we're gonna have office hours. And the office hours we're gonna have is also meant for you to ask questions. If you need help with anything, you're welcome to, to ask at the same time. Um, it's, I just want to get to know you guys more. And this can happen during office hours. This happens during today's lesson uh, on Mondays when we meet every Monday. Um, that, that's what this is for. Okay, we can continue now. Um, so just to explain one more time for those who, who joined late. So Mondays, um, like today, every Monday, we're going to connect. And then first I would go over any questions you guys have for me, general questions, math questions. And if we have time, I can go ahead and lecture more stuff. Like I can give more examples on a specific topic you need help with. Maybe like you learned something over the weekend, but you're not sure about some ideas. You can, you can ask me and I'll go over those concepts, explain them, give more examples, um, go more in depth than what we have in the videos. Uh, for Wednesday, we're not going to meet, but I'm going to have, uh, I will spend that time for the pre-recorded videos. So upload them on YouTube and you can watch all the videos. Um, and then we do have office hours. So I'm going to go over that in a minute. I show you how to access office hours and how we get to office hours. Uh, the first thing I want to do is because I'm going to share what we went through this past spring and the summer and then hopefully we learn from that so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to show you uh, canvas first canvas will be very important part of this class so this is when you log into canvas this is what you actually see right so here you see announcements assignments people pages and syllabus so in the home page i created what we call modulo 
we have several modules created here for this page and before we move on with this if the internet goes down here please be patient so it, it will rejoin within like two three minutes so just uh, stay uh, hold on for this and then i will log in when if, if it goes down so the first thing in the home page as you said as i said there's a welcome message here you can click on it and read through it like what it says you know that's i'm telling you i'm here to help um, the only way to learn mathematics is by actually doing it, by practicing. And then one important thing I always run through is people send me messages through Canvas. So what happens is I post announcement. So you see announcement in your email address. And then, then people reply to me through announcement. So that announcement reply... It doesn't come to my email it's gonna go to inbox in canvas which i don't look at because i want everything in my email if some if someone comes back to me and say you know i emailed you this and this and that i then okay so i i need to go back and look there not go back to these courses in canvas because i do not activate them after the class is over so it's a long process for me to find your message in canvas so it's it's better that you email me and the, as you can see on the screen, this is my email address here, right down, myusuf at ivc.edu. I strongly encourage you to email me using your Saddleback email or your IVC email address because sometimes people email me asking for their grade or, you know, what did I score on the midterm? I forgot. Or, you know, what's my average in the class so far? So what happens is, I look at the email, yes, it does match the name, but how do I know this is the right person? At least if it's coming from IVC email, at least that tells me you this is you, not someone else pretending this is you. Could be a friend, could be a relative. It's trying to get you to know what you scored on the exam. You know, so to be to make sure you're um, you are the right person, email me using your uh, IVC email or using your saddleback. So that, that's an important thing to know. Uh, the other thing is when you email me or if I'm you, I would do this right now. You know, whatever your name is, your legal name, use it in the email. So go to your IVC email and change the name into your actual email, your, your name. You know, a lot of people email me from with a nickname that I don't know who these people are. They say, hey, my name is this and this. Uh, can you check this thing for me? It's not working. And I, that's all they email me about. And I say, who's this person? I look through the whole list of the names. I don't find that person there. Because on the list, they, they have their legal name. On the email, is they have nicknames. So I, I can't find who that person is. They don't provide me with which class they're emailing me from. They don't provide me with student ID number. All this is missing. So always when you email any instructor... Try to include your student ID number. Try to say I'm from this class, from Math 3A. I'm taking Math 3A from you. My student ID number is this. I have a question about one, two, three. Then we know this is you. This is the right person. And then it's easy for us to find you. Okay, so this is important. Um, about your names, the names to match in, in, the, in the emails, the name to match what you have in the IVC. Now, the next thing is in Canvas, sometimes you might run through trouble. If you're not rushing through it, you can email support at instruction.com. Say I'm from this college. My name is this, this. You have to specify which college you are emailing from. Uh, you don't have to give them your student ID number, but just email is enough. Say this is my email address from this. What should I do? And then they will respond back to you same day. Uh, another way is before COVID-19, um, Canvas used to have, um, uh, Canvas, they have like, a, I think they used to have like a chat support, but now they do, um, they, they do only uh, phone support. So sometimes you have to wait on the phone, which is okay. Uh, as long as you get your uh, issue resolved, that's what matters. Um, and the other thing is, um, you can Google for like Canvas support or Canvas customer service phone number and then pull the number out and, and call them. 
call them um maybe i can provide it to you right now so the canvas phone number if you like to write it down and i'll come back to this page or some other page and include that in there it's um it's 844-612-7428. So I typed it in the chat as well, if you like to see it. Uh, you can call at any time, 24 seven. They, they will help you if there's any problem with Canvas. The next thing I want you to do now, if you can, log into Canvas. Log into Canvas. Keep the microphones muted, please. Mute your microphones. Okay, I'm assuming everyone logged into Canvas. On the left side, um, there is an icon called Settings. If you can't find it, on the keyboard, hit Control and the letter F at the same time, Control F. That will open a small box for you. Type Settings and then hit the enter key. It will find it for you. This is to find something missing on a specific page. Control F. Okay, everyone found the settings. If you go under settings, um, click on, um, try to find an icon called notifications. Notifications. Let me go back to my view. See the settings is here. Do you guys see it in this column? If you click on settings, uh, there has to be a place where it says notifications. Anyone found it? Your view is different than mine. If you found something, you can use that chat box. Another another way, as uh, one typed in the is Canvas, and click on accounts. So if you click on accounts, because your view is different. So this is this is another way to do it. Canvas accounts notifications. Someone said it's on the right of the settings page. So if you click on settings, it's somewhere on the right side. Did everyone find it? If you haven't found it yet, say not yet. 
so we can help you. Okay, so that tells me everyone already found it. So go to notifications and then under notifications, there is like so many things that you can turn on and off. Turn everything on there. Means enable everything. It will look like green color. Okay, everyone done with that? So what does that do? When I post announcements, when I post anything on the canvas, then you will be notified. You will get a, a message by email saying, your instructor posted this, there's announcement, there's this and that. So this way you don't miss anything. Another thing we're going to be doing, Daiko, you have a question? Uh, when it's saying, what is it? Grading? Grading. Yeah, you just check mark everything. It's, it's better to do it this way. It doesn't hurt to have it all green. Because this is not going to only work for my class, it's going to work for all your classes that you're going to take this semester. So keep your canvas shell this way. Now, um, I can post an announcement. But one thing I want you to do is make sure you, um, you go to your email address and check your spam folder, make sure there's nothing in there in the spam. Nothing in the spam folder it means if I post an announcement, it doesn't go to the spam folder. So throughout the, the semester, always check your spam folder. Sometimes things go to the spam folder. So this was the welcome uh, uh, module here uh, about the exams, how we're going to run the exams. Well, we are going, I'm going to give you exams live on Zoom, like right now. So what's going to happen, you're going to come online and, and take the exam. So I will be posting the tests or the exams under assignments. So when you go to the assignment page, there will be exams here. There's nothing probably there, but see nothing here, but you will see exam one or exam two. And then I will open it at the minute the class starts. So don't go an hour or a day before say, hey, I don't see the exam. Yes, because it's not, hasn't started yet. So I will unlock the exam at the moment the class starts. So you're gonna see a tab here, you click on it, um, and then you will find a PDF file you're gonna download. Now, after you download the file, there are two things you can do. If you have a printer at home, you can print it out, and then you can start working on it. If you don't have a printer, it's okay. You don't have to go anywhere. All you have to do, you write down the questions. You, I'll give you five minutes extra to copy down the problems. So you write the first question down, leave some space, the next question down, leave space, until you copy everything. And then after five minutes, you would not be able to be allowed to look at the screen anymore. So I'll be proctoring the exam throughout the lesson, the, the two hour period, uh, everyone is required to have a camera. So if you look back at the class schedule, like not my class, the IVC or Saddleback, this is a requirement the college place on the class schedule that 
every and each student of must have a, a, a camera. You must have a camera. You can't take a test with no camera. Okay, so during the lecture, during the office hours, I don't mind, I don't need the camera, but during the exam, we do need that. So that's a required part of to take the exam. Now, when you take the exam, and after you take the exam, you're done, what you need to do is you will start scanning. And the way you scan this is that you need to download an app. Okay, you, you're gonna download one of the apps. Uh, this app, these apps I'm gonna give you are all for free. So we're gonna go over it under the syllabus and explain more details about the apps and how you do the scanning. But for the meantime, I'm just telling you about the exams. There will be, I think, four exams, one comprehensive final, no quizzes, but there will be homework. There will be homework for you to, to do. Okay, so under exams, if you click on exams, it says here you will be required, you know, to scan and upload back on Canvas. I'll talk more about it in a minute. And then they're gonna be a PDF file. It can be any other format or Canvas will not accept it. And they will be proctored live on Zoom. These about the exams. The next thing, tech information. So we're gonna be having in technology uh, so many information the zoom is the one that we're going to be using throughout the semester and uh, while we're using zoom you know we are using this zoom id just for today's lesson just for today's lesson there will be another zoom id for every monday lesson okay that will be a recurring uh, event you will see it i'll up, i will post it today and you can use the same one over and over again. Technology, as I said, we are we want you to use one of these apps, either Cam Scanner or ScanPod application for scanning all the homework assignments, exams, and and projects if there's any. But there's no projects. I just put projects there. But all, the main thing is homework and exams. Those are free applications. In the summer, I had a student came and said, oh, I paid $40 for the cam scanner. You don't have to pay a penny for this. I've been using this for a long time. And I've been using this one as well. Uh, if you want to use any other applications, up to you. Okay, it's up to you. Um, if you run through technical issues, I'm not the tech person. I cannot fix any technical issues. And you have to call IVC tech support. This is the tech, their phone number, and that's their email address. So if it's after hours, you can email them. Sometimes they reply even if it's after hours. But then if it's during office hours, their hours, they open at seven in the morning, as far as I know, seven until five, I think. So you can call them. If no one answers, leave a voice message stating your student ID number and uh, your name, your phone number, and then they will call you back. All the recorded videos will be listed under this YouTube channel or playlist. You will find everything there. If you go there now, you might find some videos, but those are for the later sections that I recorded back at the end of the spring but I do have recordings. Um, so this recording um, of the videos, I'll upload them today so you can start working on the homework. And even if you don't have the textbook for this week, it's okay, you don't need the textbook for this week. Okay, so you don't need the textbook for this week, but you do need the video to go through the videos for reviewing the pre-calc material and you will find out the homework is going to be coming from a packet i typed myself so i will upload it online and then you can work on it now one thing i want you to know and this is important do not post questions from those packets online do not because we had people last semester 
they posted questions, not from the homework, but from the exam online, and then other people solved it for them, and I caught all of them. Don't ask me how, but I that's happened. So this material that I'm gonna post this week, this is my own material. So it's a copyrighted material. I copyright it with the copyright office. If I find it on any website, I'm gonna ask them to remove it. And then I will have them report to me who was the person who posted this. So it's always best that you do whatever you can better than trying to get information from here and there. It's important for you to master those two or three packets on your own. For calculators, there's a link here, uh, two different calculators. You can click on them and follow the instructions to try to um, and try to download them. So you can use them while you're working on the homework if needed, but you can't use them. Uh, you can't use them while you are taking the exam. You can't use them. The other thing is here. I'm gonna post the link for the lecture notes. You'll be able to access all the notes using that specific link. So when I'm recording a video, I'm I'm writing <clears throat> using one note. So those notes, you can actually get them, you can view them. And what is one note? Something like this. So let's say I recorded, I was working on this today. This is for you guys. If in case, <clears throat> if in case, this screen looks too big, or too small. There are so many ways to get this to fit the screen size. You can do Control plus as many times you click Control plus Control plus and you can try it right now on any screen you have. If it's uh, if you have a Microsoft or like Windows Control plus or Control minus. There's another shortcut for that for um, those who are using Mac, but I personally don't know it. I never used Mac, but I know there is a shortcut for that. You can Google it like zoom in, zoom out shortcut on the keyboard and it will tell you how to do it. Another way to get around this, another way is you click on if when you open the one note on the upper left corner, there's five icons or five names, home, insert, draw, view and help. If you click on view, if you click on view, there will be an icon, two icons, one plus, one minus. If you click on the plus or minus, they will zoom in and out for you, just so you know. Now, do we need the textbook for the class? Yes, you do need the textbook. You need the textbook at least for the homework assignments. You know, if you don't wanna buy it, you wanna take a picture from a friend or find them somehow, find the homework problems, you can do so as well. Um, but the textbook is needed for homework. Just the first, like maybe one or two homework assignments. There will be, um, when you click on that, <clears throat> there will be, um, just, you, you just a PDF file, you have to finish it. But then from there on, it will be from the textbook. Now the next one module is called one note link. So I put it here. I made a module for it. And this is the link I was talking about earlier because a lot of times, a lot of times students keep emailing me, what's the link? Where's the one note link? So always all the time going to say, go back to canvas, go back to canvas because it's here. And what I just said, I typed them here for you to, to, to be able to refer back to them. So this is the OneNote link. So if, if, if I click on it right now, it's gonna take me to OneNote. Okay, it's gonna take me to OneNote. So within OneNote, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing here, how to, how to access the notes. Everyone can see it now? You guys can see it? Yeah. So what we have, do you see these are all the topics I get them ready uh, the first one is called office hours so every time we have office hours I'm gonna come here and then you know like just um, you know do the work here or something I'm thinking to have like office hours and put the date like August something office hours September something 
and so on and so forth. So I can add more pages here and, and go and take it from there. These are the topics like so instead of using the textbook for the first chapter, which I don't like, that's why I came up with these, the journey to calculus. So if you click on it on the first one on the left, it's going to load the notes here for you. OK, and then if you click on the next one, you're going to see the notes. As you can see, they are here, right? They are here. You will be able to view them. But again, if, if you don't, if you're not able to view them, they're so big, you can use the view thing or control plus, control minus to zoom in and out. So these are notes for the first packet. And then the same thing for the next one. So these, each page on the left side is a topic. It's a section. Okay, so that, that's important. Okay, that's about one note, so I'm gonna close it now. If we go back to the home page, we have office hours. So what do we have in office hours? There are two things in office hours. One is called Monday office hours, one called Wednesday office hours. So I put the Monday office hours. What's under the Monday office hours is just the link here. Basically, you need the link and the password. This is the password here to access it. This is the link you know, that you need, uh, or at least the ID. This is the ID, ID number. So every Monday, you can come back to here and click on this or, or copy paste and use the password. If it happened that we need to run a Wednesday, then there would be one under Wednesday office hours. Any questions up to this point so far? Uh, yeah, I had a question regarding yeah. office hours. So it states on Canvas that class ends at 10, uh, 45 yes. and office hours starts at 10.30. Does that mean that we all... Uh, all wait, uh, wait. Uh, where does it say starts at 10.30? Um, in the link. So go to office hours on Monday. And we need to fix that out. Yeah, right yeah. there. It says yeah, we need to fix it. Yeah, we need to fix okay. that one. Let me write it down. Good catch. Next, other questions? If no questions, under the announcement page, whatever I announce is gonna always be here. You're gonna be finding them here. So the first announcement I did, I did a welcome announcement. So if you click on it, you will be able to view it. And this is what it is. If we go back, there's another announcement that shows you the Zoom meeting for today's meeting. That's what it is. And then I'll, uh, I'll upload more and more announcement, maybe every week. So the announcement page is important. Uh, I spoke about assignments. I will have assignments here. So what's going to happen under assignments? When you click on assignments, you're going to find like say homework one assignments. You click on homework one, you will be able to see uh, a place where you can upload the file. Okay, so you can upload the file, um, the PDF file to Canvas. Now, one thing I want to talk about when it comes to scanning the documents. This is important. So the reason you go to college is not because you want to learn how to add fractions and so on and so forth and use them in, um, in your, uh, at your workforce in the future. One idea behind school is to teach you how to be on time and leave on time. And then for for the other thing here is how to be a professional so if you scan pages not in order for me i say wow look at this student he or she is not organized and not professional right 
So how you make things professional, how you make a document professional or a PDF professional. You want to scan them in chronological order. So the first page goes first, next, next, next. And then what's going to happen after you, after you scan them all, then you, I want you to email it to yourself. And let me explain why you have to email it to yourself. Because if you email it to, to me or upload it uh, right away to Canvas, sometimes the the name the name of the assignment like you name it sometimes cam scanner names it for you it gives you a, a foreign characters like if your phone is set to be a different language then it will have those characters in there and then guess what's going to happen when i upload the when i download the homework let's say and i want to grade them i cannot re-upload it for you to see what you got Canvas would not take it because of the characters, if that makes sense. So Canvas does not accept it from my end. And if I change the name of your file, Canvas would not take it either. The file name has to match the original file that you uploaded to Canvas. So to resolve this issue, always, first thing you do after you do the scanning, you email it to yourself. Email it to yourself. And then you... When you email it, you download it from your email, check the name of the file, make sure all the pages are in chronological order, everything is clean, nothing is cut off, everything is readable. Then you say, okay, it's ready to be uploaded to Canvas. So then you upload it to Canvas. Okay, so that's important. Another thing about the scanning documents. You will see there's a deadline for each assignment. Okay, the deadline for the assignments, those deadlines are set this way. It's not like you come to class and then let's say you come in five minutes late or 30 minutes late. Then I'll take, you know, I'll take the assignment from you. But online, when there is a deadline, I cannot, I'm not going to change it. It's set this way. So if the deadline is 11.59 p.m., do not wait until 11.59 to upload it. Canvas is not going to take it at 11.59. Okay. What, what are you supposed to do then? Well, you need to give it at least five minutes. If something goes wrong, you have enough time. Maybe if it's 11.59, the latest you should try it at 11.50 maybe. And then this way, if something goes wrong, you got enough time. Because people email me, oh my God, my internet is so slow. Oh, it's taking too long. So it passed the deadline. And then they email me the homework. I'm not going to take any email homework or exams. Okay. And I went through this this summer. And trust me, it's not easy. It's not, it, it messes up everything. So, you know, we had a girl like, she emailed me exactly at the time, the deadline. Like she tried to upload at that minute. Canvas didn't take it. She emailed it to me right at, right at that minute. And then I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try to take it. And then later on, I forgot about it. Like when we went back to Canvas to grade, I forgot about her test. So her grade went down from B to C because I didn't count that homework. And now we have to go back, fill out forms to change her grade. And it's not an easy process. So for us to keep everything organized and to make sure nothing is missing, Please watch the deadlines. Don't wait till the last minute. And if you actually think about it, waiting till the last minute, like, oh my God, I need to finish this question. How many points do you think you're going to make out of those three, four minutes, the extra minutes? Maybe one point, maybe nothing, who knows? But if you wait till the last minute and you miss it, you, lo you lose all the points. You lose 20 points maybe. So it's better than to up upload it by 11.30, let's say, p.m. and miss one question rather than waiting un until the last minute and lose all the points. So I'm very strict about deadlines, very strict. So you must submit the homework, the test by the deadline. Don't wait till 11.59, okay? Don't wait until that time to upload it. Another thing I highly recommend you do today, you can do it while we're talking right now. We, I want you to <clears throat> try Cam Scanner. 
upload uh, download cam scanner right now and do some testing run some testing i announced 20 times during the summer do this do this before the test and then some students during the exam okay how am i going to scan this they ask me as if they never been in the class this is the first time they talk to me so this is it gets messy i'm not going to teach someone during the exam how to do scanning so you better do the scanning it's not only for my class maybe for your english class for other classes for personal documents a lot of times maybe you want to submit something for online service or for i don't know a company you need to scan a document you don't need a scanner anymore you can do it on the phone so phones during the exams will not be allowed but only when it comes to scanning okay only for scanning now if you have questions about textbook and all that stuff we will come to this when i go through the syllabus okay now for cam scanner it scans as pdf one file one file last thing about assignments so assignments the homework the exams are set in a way that you have one attempt what does that mean after you check your you email it yourself you download it to desktop make sure everything is okay you down you upload it to canvas as soon as you upload to canvas you cannot go back and re-upload it canvas will not allow you to do this i said it in a way you got one chance and why is that because because when we do not set it this way guess what's happened the students will upload multiple versions of the exam like they do something here like they solve one question in two different methods and they upload them and then if i grade one of them and it's wrong they say no no, no i meant the other test so that's what i don't want to go through this kind of stuff so this is important for every one of you to know this one time one pdf all the pages under one pdf if there's any missing pages i cannot take them late so many people try to do that during the summer i do not accept it it must be all one pdf i want to be fair with everybody but some people try to go beyond that and try to say okay well i'll just submit those and email him the rest that doesn't work out so that's important thing uh, there's you know tons of applications for free that can scan pdf trust me there's so many of them but i just offered you two of them or let you know about two of them um this is about assignments now about people here that's when you can i'm not gonna click on it but you can you can click on that from your end and then message other students so if you like to work with uh, other people together even with online you can create a zoom meeting on your own and be like a leader tell people hey who wants to study let's get together work on the homework let's work on the exam you know prepare for the exam uh, this is a, you can do that in the summer we had several groups and people work together and it was helpful although it's online but it's still helpful um, under syllabus that's the big thing here that i want to spend time on so this is math 3a cac1 um, this is my name this is the textbook you need um, the textbook has the edge of the textbook it's a blue color not red you need the blue one not red so blue the class is a five unit class five units one thing important here to know uh in a lot of times uh on the homework or or um, on the uh, what is it called homework or the the um exams we ask you to to write the section number this is the section number 6585 that's the section number uh this this is the original schedule for the class but now it's online uh, this is my email address this is my office number but you know I, i'm not there um, and i'm saying here i encourage you to use your ivc or saddleback email for the meantime the office hours will be mondays from 10 45 basically right after the class until 2 p.m and wednesdays from 12 15 to 2 p.m 
okay this is the stuff I was talking about in canvas homework assignments students will be required to upload their homework assignments to canvas by the set due date I'll be posting lots of announcements it's your responsibility to read them the exams will be also uploaded to canvas the syllabus is posted as you can see now um, when you submit assignments on canvas if it's homework or or exams try not to use your cell phone to upload them because especially if it's not up to date it can cause issues so make sure you try to use your tablet laptop to upload it if you have no other option make sure everything is up up to date on your cell phone like the canvas is up to date and um, and then you can use it for uploading stuff and the next one is um, if you if you, if there's assignments to be submitted do not email it to me I'm not gonna take it okay do not email it to me assignments are supposed to be submitted to students email first before submitting to canvas so this way you make sure everything is okay there's nothing missing okay the name you use on the assignment must match your name in in the database of IVC otherwise I'm not gonna know who this person is okay very important otherwise it will take me time who's this person otherwise I'll end just up giving the person zero okay uh, someone saying how do you scan the assignments through computer uh, I don't know what you're saying through computer what do you mean you have to do it on the phone email it to yourself as PDF it's very clear you can scan on the computer the, the computer doesn't scan it for you uh, any blank assignments uploaded some people do that to kind of buy time I will not take it and they even oh I upload the wrong file so you need to make sure you are uploading the right file any missing pages from the assignment will not be accepted as I spoke about it these are the dates for the class if you happen to travel somewhere and there's a time time difference it's you know your decision it's up to you but you know you have to set with the time with the US a time whatever it is you can read through the respect and diversity uh, I kept them here although it's for in person but I kept them there uh, read through course web page and course description um, if you can do so right now please because some people might not go over it at a later time everyone is okay with that now if you read through them uh, and no questions for me I can move on these are the topics that we're gonna be covering if you like to know the student learning outcomes the link is there okay and and then topics covered are these are the topics we're gonna be covering I want to talk about homework um, so in the homework this homework policy so the homework policy as I said I spoke about write your last name comma first in the homework uh, everything in chronological order make sure everything is clear do not just give me answers I mean you know give me answers you can copy from the back of the book you need to show work now how do I grade the homework is it based on ans like answers at the end accuracy or uh, is it based on com completion so the way it works is I make sure that I focus more on completion that you attempted all the home all the homework problems if you miss a question here here and there like I don't take that much points off as long as it shows me that you really attempted the homework okay so that's that's an important part and then if but if you skip the whole section or you skip so many questions that's when um, when I take off points but we I grade based basically mostly on the based on the completeness of the of the work exams there will be four proctored exams 100 points each um, and there will be a comprehensive final so the exams will be given either on Monday or Wednesday uh, based on the schedule whatever the schedule says um, okay so if, if uh, we will show you down there what when are the exam dates and that's what we do a camera is required for the exams and then what happens this is another important thing we faced as an issue this summer okay so 
people turn on the camera for me and they show me their face. I don't see what they have on their desk. They can have their book there. They can have all the notes. They, they can have somebody sitting next to them. I'm not gonna know. So what's gonna happen is you do need to put your camera maybe at least five feet away from you. Don't tell me I don't have a space. You do have a space and you will be able to really put the camera away. Even if it's a laptop, you can just put it away. If it's a desktop, you say, oh, I can't move the desktop. Well, use another table or something far from that one. Most of these document cameras, they have a cable. You can extend it. You can put it on the side, on the, on the right side, left side. As long as you show me all your desk and yourself, that's what I need during the exam. So be ready for that. Otherwise, I can't let you take the test. Don't just show me your face or only show me what you are writing. I want to see all your desk and yourself. So you can try to do some um, trial for that and make sure it's set before the exam date. When you're done with the exams, you're going to be scanning it just for the first exam. The first exam. On the first page, you scan your ID. It could be driver's license, passport, your student ID, any ID. You scan it, and then that will be on the first page or last page of the exam, as long as we can see it. We do need this check IDs. Okay, we are always told by our dean to do so. So we do need the IDs to be scanned, just for the first exam. Okay. It says here, late submissions are not accepted. That's the best way to go around this. Homework will be worth 100 points, exams 400 points, and a final 200 points. This is the grading uh, scale here. You need 630 points out of 700 to get an A, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can read through this. This is if in case you, um, let's say the last week you didn't show up, you didn't take final, you know, we have uh, a new grade called FW. We started about a couple years ago. Uh, this will tell the admission officer that you got a W or maybe you got an F, actually. You got an F in the class and then you can retake it. But it will show that you were not attending at some point, maybe the last two weeks or the last month. You didn't drop yourself. I didn't drop you. And then they will be picky about it because that will affect your financial aid later on. They're gonna say, wait, we're paying you to attend the class. How come you're not attending? So this is important. While we are on Zoom, we expect everyone to respect others. Last semester, we had people chatting bad stuff on the chat. We do not wanna go through this again. And that's why, um, you know, that's why I do want you to know that we need to respect each other. Even other people say something, just ignore them. Just, you know, say what you want from the class. Now, this is about academic honesty policy. And I, uh, you know, talked about it exactly how the college catalog stated it. Um, for, for you to try to cheat in any way, it's never good because if you can cheat in my class, you're gonna be cheating in other classes. You're gonna cheat when you go to the work, you get a job, your employer is not gonna like it. Uh, the other thing is the DSPS. If you are a DSPS student, do not wait till the last minute to submit documents to me. There are forms you need to fill out and then submit back to me. And the way it works, it takes DSPS several days to approve it or to set a schedule with you. So you do need to get in touch with them today. Really call the DSPS office and then say, I want to set an appointment or something and get all the paperwork done and ready and email it to me as soon as you're done with it. Don't wait till the exam day. So that's an important thing. We have the math center that helps you in this. It's called drop-in remote tutoring. So if you go to their website and reach out to them and see they have hours, they can help you with homework, they can help you with um, any questions you have. Um, I believe we have workshops on Friday. Um, I will check with the person in charge of this and let you know um, about it. Calculators, do you need a calculator? No, you don't need a calculator. You can use online calculators, you can use Desmos, um, anything you like 
as long as it helps you for the homework. And then on the exam, you don't need a calculator. So all the exam problems I type, no calculator is needed, no calculator. You can read through tips how to study for the class by watching videos, read through the textbook, that's important. And here we have uh, kind of like a table here of what we do every time. Um, actually, the homework problems. The first homework is called the journey to calculus. From 2.1, you are required to do these questions. From 2.2, you do these all the way till the 5.5. The next one is the schedule. Like today, we're going to meet today, Monday. We're going to just do introduction. There's no lecture, nothing. On uh, this Wednesday, there's a pre-calculus preview one. So what again? What's going to happen? We're not going to be here Wednesday, but I will post a video tonight for you to watch. And then I will also upload the, the worksheet for that or the packet that you need to work on. Any questions so far? So subscribing to the channel, the YouTube channel can help. Every time I upload a video, you will be notified by email. As you can see here, we have on next week, we're gonna be doing still review for the a week and a half review pre-calculus because it's very important. And then um, on that date, there will be a homework assignment due. And then what is gonna be due is set down here. Do you see it says homework one covers the journey to calculus packet. Homework two covers this and this. Homework three, there are all the way. And this September 2nd will be the first exam that will be on a Wednesday. So that Wednesday, you must be online that Wednesday. Although we don't meet on Wednesdays, but you must be there. You don't need any book for the preview. No, I just came up with all the stuff myself. Uh, you're going to find them there. And when after you submit the homework, I will post the detailed solutions to them so you can check them out. On this day, there's no class. And then the on that day, like that week, I will post the recorded video. I upload it to YouTube to watch them per the week, whatever we have. There's homework to do to due date on September 28th. And that's going to be covering sections 2.1 to 3.3. And then we have another exam on Wednesday there. And then the next exam on this day, the next exam on this day, we review the week before the final. And then there will be last homework due this time. I used to have 10 homework, but I made it five homework this time. And then the last one is this. Uh, someone is asking, is it okay to scan with uh, using this uh, printer? Okay, let me tell you what happens. You can scan with the printer, no problem for the homework. Make sure when you scan it, the name is fine, everything is okay. But when it's on the test, you know, this summer one girl was trying to scan using the printer right after the exam. And guess what happened? It took her like 20 minutes to do the scanning because when you scan on the on the scanner or printer, it takes a lot of time. But when you do it on the phone, I tell you, it takes me myself 20 seconds to scan everything and, and email it to myself. 20 seconds. The next information here is about Zoom. You know that we're going to be running Zoom meeting. This is about technology one more time that I mentioned earlier. Uh, you will be finding all the YouTube videos on this channel or this uh, playlist and then the lecture notes are, can be found on the, using this link these are for online calculators to download so I personally have the first one downloaded on my other uh, other tablet and my laptop um, any questions for me please ask you can speak up or you can use the chat box
Is the plan okay? Anyone has any suggestions, any ideas you like to share with me? Someone asked, uh, will we be given some extra minutes at the end of the test to upload? Yes, that's a good question. I do give you about um, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes for you to do the scanning and email it to yourself, upload it, like download it to your uh, laptop or the desktop and then email it to me. So you will have that extra time. Would we would we have to wait for everyone to start scanning? No. If you finish in like 10 minutes, you start scanning after 10 minutes, you know, and then you just show me, you know, wave or something that you want to start scanning. This way I make sure you're not using it for something else. Then you can scan, upload, and done. And one thing important to know is when you do the scanning on the exam, right after the exam is over, you do scanning, upload to Canvas. Don't leave the meeting. Don't leave zoom because i want to check from my end that you really uploaded the right file this because i don't want you to lose points by uploading something wrong or you're missing something so the 15 to 20 minutes includes the printing time because printing how long does it take one two minutes right printing scanning uploading that's what the 15 to 20 minutes is for Um, Professor, I have yes. a question. Go so ahead. I have um, a notes app. It's kind of like this. I take notes on my iPad and it submits directly um, from PDF. Could I do that for the homework? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. No tests, right? Because it's a screen. Uh, it, it would be better not to do on the, that on test. If something goes wrong, then it would be hard for you to go back and copy everything down. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. If we do not have a printer, and uh, but I do not have a printer, how do I take the exam? So uh, I spoke about this at the beginning of the class. If you don't have a printer, so you're gonna open the PDF file from the assignment page on Canvas, and then you're gonna copy down the questions. So you copy the first question down and leave a space, copy the next question down, leave a space, and so on and so forth, and then after five minutes, I'm going to say, hey, you can't look at your screen anymore. Okay, you can't look at the screen anymore until you are done with the exam. So then you can take the test. You can write on any piece of paper. We have no other option. I cannot tell the students to go buy a printer for this. But to me, you know, to be honest with you, what we are going through in these days and probably it would be in the spring and who knows how long, a printer is really important in, in, in your house. It's really important for all your classes. As a student, you know, you print assignments, you print a lot of stuff. Other questions? Anyone has any suggestions? Anyone like to share any ideas? Now, during office hours, we always recommend you, um, you, you know, join at join us at um, at um, eight forty-five or eight thirty, whenever the class starts at eight thirty. So if you have questions, you know, you, 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 you ask me at the beginning of the class and we can move on from there because if you join late, let's say an hour later, let's say at 9.30 or 10, and then I'm lecturing something, you know, it will be hard to go back and start ask, answering more homework problems. But again, right after the class is over, there's office hours that you can use. And then at, during office hours, that's when you can ask questions. Anyone has questions for me? Is that okay that we have that many number of exams and homework? Is that okay?
Uh, I am very lenient when it comes to grading exams. Um, my goal to see each and every one of you passing at least a class. Um, and, and that's that's very important. I want you to keep in mind, I'm not here to make you, this is difficult for you. Whatever it makes it easy for you, that's what I'm here for. So someone asked, are we gonna use the same textbook for CAC 2? Yes, we're gonna, so the first half of the book is used for CAC 1, the second half for CAC 2. So if you buy the book, you buy for two classes. Uh, a question was asked, do you round grades if it's like 89.5? Um, this is called, um, like we, we don't round this way. We don't round this way because, you know, sometimes maybe someone is one point off, like for a C or something. Then we look at attendance. We look at was this, uh, you know, student, proactive student. Was was the student like did their best? Like it depends on what's going on. But sometimes like this last summer, let's say the total was 1000 points, let's say in the course. And one person said, you know, I'm like, 2% away from C. Well, 2%. So that's a lot of points. It can mean to use only two, the number 2%. Yes, points wise, maybe 20 points, who knows? So that's what what uh, we, we don't like to see. Uh, someone asking, will you make the comprehensive ex in, uh, exam, I think multiple choice like you did last semester? Okay, so um, for the when when I taught in person, I I give multiple choice and then I ask the students to show me work if in case they miss the answer, then I can um, I can like give them partial credit. But for the online, because it's easy for people like to text each other the answers, that's why I don't put multiple choice. Maybe I will include some, but not everything. Uh, are we able to use our iPad good notes for taking exams? No iPads during exams. You can't use any electronic device. Only at the end, when you've done, you can start scanning with using your phone. Uh, before the exam, do we upload a review? Uh, a lot of times I do give a, a sample test. Those who took my class before, they know this. And, um, you know, like maybe when we meet, let's say there is exam, exam one on, on this date, Wednesday, right? So on this day, I, I go over questions similar to those on the exam. So you, you come online and ask questions first, and then after you're done asking, maybe 20, 30 minutes, then we I start doing going over similar questions to those who, that are gonna be covered on the exam. So even if you miss that day, you can always review them or find them or access them using the OneNote. Moral, good questions. Ask. Um, yes. Professor, I have a question. Yeah. Um, so you, I'm aware that there's five homework assignments, but what happens if we want extra practice? Will there be like mock um, practice assignments we can do just to get better or um, no? Uh, there's no uh, mock stuff, but if you need more practice, uh, the textbook has examples. That's what I used to do when I was a student. I used to go over the examples from the textbook in any section I would like to practice more. And I personally, you know, I, I, I have passion for textbooks. So I used to go to the library and pick another calculus book, you know, and then do problems because all the calculus books are almost the same, same topics. So that's how I used to do it. More, more questions. How long is the average exam like questions? 
Uh, how how many? I you know every semester I type different questions, so I don't know. Like um, sometimes depending on the question, like let's say my stat class, the final I give only like five questions, but then all all of them were like A B C parts. You know, it's not about the number of questions. You know. Um, so it depends on the topic, the test. Sometimes we have 10 questions, 10 to 20. If there's no parts, 10 to 20. Now, do you take attendance? Uh, I don't take attendance during these lessons, only during the exam, uh, but Canvas records the attendance. So as soon as you log in, we would know you logged in. Like I have a way to go back and, and view who was in class. Uh, do we have extra credit? We do. I do give almost all my classes I've taught in the past. I give them some some extra credit. Like I, I assign random questions at the end of the semester to review for the final for you. And then you do it as a preview questions. And at the same time, you earn some points for that. When will we need the textbook? You need the textbook when you start uh, August 31st. So if you order it now, you got enough time. You got about couple weeks you know you, you don't have to do anything with that you got a couple weeks for that do you drop the lowest quiz no we don't drop the lowest quiz or exam Okay, we don't drop that. During an exam, do you have to notify you when you finish early? So, yeah, you can just wave or, uh, you know, chat in the chat. You can say, I'm done, so I know what you're doing. More questions? Um, I never did that. Like if you do well on the final, I replace, let me, let me tell you why I do know. I know some professors do that and students love it. Um, because one time only one time as some students said, Hey, you know, we recommend you do drop the lowest exam score and things like that. And I said, okay, so I'll do that. Whatever makes you guys happy. And then I went ahead and then I offered that as, as an option that I'll drop the lowest exam score. But what happens, students took advantage of this and then, and then on exam one, maybe 10 kids were not there. On exam two, 15 people were not there. On exam three, uh, 20 people were not there. I was like, what's happening? Why people are not coming to the exam? They said, well, you're gonna drop the lowest exam score. So why should I take this test? Do you see what happened? So the students look at it in a way that was not good for them because I said, what about if you do really bad on the final? And then plus the final is comprehensive. You don't take exam one or two. You're not gonna, you're, you're not studying that material for that exam. So, but you're gonna need it for the final either way. So that's why I stopped using it. Can you put first homework questions for us because I ordered book on Amazon? Um, Yes, so the um, the homework problems will be online today. I'll upload them and the videos. Uh, if you want to make a group chat, don't don't share your information on the chat here. You can go to Canvas and click on people, and you can message students from the class. Say, hey, you know, guys, let's form a group study or something like that. Other questions?
No questions for me? So this meeting, if you joined late, it's recorded and I will upload it as well to YouTube channel. Um, and okay, so then, then, um, so then I, you know, you can watch it if you miss the first part or something like that. Any other questions for me? Is everything clear about homework, how to submit assignments, exams, deadlines, policies, um, how the class is gonna run, about recorded videos, the Monday meetings, and then you should be ready for the Wednesday meetings if there's any exams on that day, office hours. Um, what else? Yes, so uh, for homework and assignments, the assi under assignments. So the, if there's a homework due date on a specific day, then you need to um, upload, you need to upload the exam on um, under assignments, the homework and the exams, everything upload under assignments. So may, may you briefly explain the exam again. So the exams, uh, the way it works is that I will upload the exam as a PDF file under assignments and unlock it at the time the class starts. Let's say on September 2nd, we have the first exam. At 8.30 in the morning, that's when I'm gonna unlock the test. And then you can access that minute. You download it and then you can print it or copy down the questions. Okay, and then after that, you can solve it. After you're done, you scan it, upload it back to Canvas under assignments. Will you be taking attendance in class? We spoke about this. I don't take personally actual attendance, but if someone like, I can I, I go back and I check the attendance later on, not like while the class is in session. So if a student doesn't show up and then they don't do homework, then we drop them. Any other questions? If not, I can let you go. Um, I have a question. Yes. Will there be office hours today? Uh, yeah, we, we can have office hours if you guys need. Does anyone need help for office hours? I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to learn a little, like, what we're going to learn and stuff. That'd be fun. Yeah, so there will be office hours today in 45 minutes. Thank you, Professor. Yes. If no questions, I will let you go. You can log out.